Hi everyone, this is Technotrix B and recently I got the Mi A1. For the most part, this phone is just amazing. If you are going to compare this phone with Redmi Note 4 at paper, they both have the same specification except the camera, like the Snapdragon 625 with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 GB internal storage. The Redmi Note 4 is cheaper than the Mi A1. If almost all the hardware is same, then it is a fair deal to just get dual camera, you need to pay 2000 rupees more. Well, the story is a little deeper than that. Both the phone have same capacity of 64 GB, but not all stories is created equal. They have different read and write speeds, so let's find out which one is best. And as we all know, Redmi is usually the cheapest series from the Xiaomi and the Xiaomi usually used MI series as in the premium department. So here they are belongs to different different departments, so it might possible they have different different type of storage. To check the performance of the disk, I have installed Android Bunch in both the phone. So to get the fair idea, let's start both the phone at the same time. Now I'm going to increase the speed of the video. As you can see, Mi A1 has completed the test before Redmi Note 4, so it is clear that Mi A1 is literally fast. But how much? So Mi A1 has completed in 72 seconds and after skipping the video, finally Redmi Note 4 has also completed this test in 112 seconds. You can see how much slower is Redmi Note 4 is. To get the better eye, let's first change the location. And now check the report individually. First looking in Redmi Note 4, read speed is around 277 Mbps and the write speed is around 75 Mbps per second. Now check for the Mi A1. Here you can see read speed is around 280 Mb per second and the write speed is around 209 Mb per second. Now let's compare this result side by side. In read speed not such a huge difference. The read speed is not such a big deal. Right? Yep. But the write speed, there is a huge margin in it. Almost 3 times faster write speed in Mi A1. Now let's see this thing on reality. I just want to send a file from my computer to the phone. So before I start, first plug the USB in Redmi Note 4 and I am going to transfer an ISO file of Windows 10. There is a stopwatch there that will going to tell how much time it took to transfer that file. Ok, around 2 minutes 20 seconds. Now time for Mi A1. Connect the USB type C and enable the USB file transfer. Put the phone back. Just ready to start the stopwatch. Yep, send to the Mi A1. Let's go. Keep the eye on timer guys. There we go, just 1 minute 37 seconds for transferring that ISO file which is around 3.38 GB. Mi A1 is definitely having a great so if you are constantly transferring large files, videos and pictures in phone from there to here, definitely Mi A1 should be your priorities. So that's it for this video guys and in case if you have missed the previous video on Mi A1 which was the answers of most google question about Mi A1, just click on the top right corner of your screen you are going to get that video and wait just down your head 3 to 5 degree and there you will find a subscribe button yeah yeah you got it right that red rectangular box yes yes tap on it thank you and again thank you for watching this video till the end bye